There is nothing extraordinary about seeing George Digweed at a shooting ground, unless you get a bit closer to the 26 times world champion. George and his wife Kate were attacked at their home in East Sussex on Sunday evening by four masked men, and they have left their mark. I have to be a little bit careful about uh, you know what I say, but it's an ongoing police investigation. Um, Kate and I were sitting at home uh, watching television on Sunday night, and uh, four masked armed raiders uh, smashed their way in through the French windows. Um, beat me quite considerably with a, a heavy object, uh, tied and bound us, um, and then uh, I went round the house, you know, ransacking the house, um, taking you know um, an amount of cash, some of my trophies, some medals, um, a couple of guns, unfortunately, and uh, my vehicle. So. Uh, uh, a pretty serious crime for a sleepy village like Northam. I'm sure probably it was uh, it was targeted because it was me and uh, we had a, a purpose-built trophy room built which was at the front of the house, probably a mistake and um, you know they, uh, they, they've been on show and and without question the, the trophies were being targeted although they didn't leave with um, as many as perhaps they would have liked to have done um, there was uh, certainly moves afoot within the house to take as many as they possibly could. Today, George is filming a target sequence for his members' club, Make Club Digweed. You haven't got time to come down to go up. You just. He says it's a way of off. taking his mind off things. Life must go on, and, and I could have easily sat at home and kept seeing him come through the door. But you've got to, at some stage go out and, and try and force the new path that you're going to have to take. There's no question it's life-changing, um, not just for me, but for both of us. Um, how we deal with that now and going forward is a, is a path that is going to be a new path every day, as far as I'm concerned at the moment. Um, I don't think you'll ever get back to normality. I, I don't see how you could ever get back to normality after that's happened. Um, you see and hear things now at home that you never ever have heard before um, but uh, you know I'm hoping that time helps that and and going forward it uh, we can get back to doing things that make us the people that we are but I think that um, the increased security measures at home and, and 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 everything we're putting in place which is pretty extensive um, will go some way to perhaps allowing us to revert back to as normal a life as we're ever going to get to. There will be more on the attack and the impact on his season in the upcoming club Digweed out on the 1st of March. It's a, it's a pretty traumatic time and not something that uh, I, would, uh, I would necessarily want to have to go through again. Um, it's an invasion of your private space and uh, um, to come through a you know, plate glass door, three or four foot from where you were sitting, just having finished your supper, is um, is quite a frightening experience. But for the moment, George is taking comfort where he can find it, and today it's on a clay ground among friends.